So in this video, we are going to learn how to add product in BigCommerce from Google Sheets in bulk at scheduled time. Now suppose guys, you own an e-commerce store which you have created using BigCommerce and you are adding the new product details which you want to add in your e-commerce store into a Google Sheet. And you are also updating the status of those products in your Google Sheet as well. Now you want that whatever products you are marking as ready as the status in your Google Sheet, you want to add those products from Google Sheets into BigCommerce. So let me tell you, you can actually automate this process at a scheduled time interval, at a regular time interval, you can get the details of the product which are ready for your e-commerce store from your Google Sheet and add those products into BigCommerce using this Pavli Connects automation. So in this automation, first we are going to set up a trigger as scheduled by Pavli. So we are going to take an example of triggering this automation daily. That daily, this automation workflow will run and it will get the product details from our Google Sheet of all the products which are ready to publish. And then after getting those details, with the same details, we are going to add those products in our big commerce score. So if you want to know how you can set up this automation, for that, you just have to come with me to my screen. So as you can see, here we are on PubliConnect's dashboard. Now to reach this dashboard, you will get a free sign up link of PubliConnect in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can create your free PubliConnect account in just two minutes. And after reaching to this dashboard, just click on create workflow and give this workflow a name. For example, I would like to name my workflow as Google Sheets to Big Commerce. And then just click on create. Now you can see that our workflow is open over here. And in this workflow, we have two different windows. First one is the trigger window and second one is the action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on, where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's begin with our trigger window. Now the idea here is in a Google Sheet, I'm entering the details of the new products which I want to add in my BigCommerce account. So here you can see the name of the product, the title, description of the product, the product type, whether it's a physical product or a digital product which we are adding. Here you can see the product price, SKU, inventory and the image URLs of these products as well. So all the details of this product is added into a Google Sheet. And here at last, I have also added a column of status. Now the automation which we are going to set up in this video, using this automation guys, every day or at a regular interval, you can select the time duration of your choice. We just take an example of every day. Every day at a specific time, for example, at 10 a.m., this automation workflow will start. This automation workflow will run. And it will get the details of all the product which has the status as ready. So all the product which I want to add in my BigCommerce account, we just have to update the status of these products as ready over here. So every day we will get the details of the product who has the status of ready in our Google Sheet. And then using the same automation, we will add these product with the same details in our BigCommerce account. And at last, after adding these products in our BigCommerce account with these same details from the Google Sheet, we will change the status of these products as published. So that the next time, the next day when this automation workflow will run and it will check for the product with this status, then after that, only the products who has the status as ready will be created in BigCommerce. We won't be creating the same product. We won't be adding the same product twice in our BigCommerce account. It will avoid the duplication as well. So it's a very simple process to automate. Let's begin with our automation workflow. So we will start creating our workflow from this trigger window. Now, because we want to run this automation workflow at a regular interval. So we will be using a feature of module by Pavli Connect that is scheduled by Pavli in this trigger window. Just select schedule over here. After selecting schedule by Pavli, the next thing it asks us is how often you want to run your workflow. So here in this dropdown, you can see different options. At regular interval, you want to run this workflow once, every day, days of the week or dates of the month. So here guys, we are taking an example that we want to run this automation workflow every day. So I will be selecting every day over here. For example, if you want to run this automation workflow once a week or at a regular interval, you can change the time duration according to your choice. After this, it is asking us for the time that every day at what time this automation should run. So let me select the time as 10 a.m. over here. You can basically give any time of your choice and then just click on see. As we click on save, here you can see that we have scheduled this automation workflow to run every day at 10 a.m. After running, what we want, 
we want to get the details of each and every product which has the status as ready in our Google Sheet. So here what we are going to do, we will be getting the details of the product from Google Sheet. So we will just scroll down and come to this action window in our workflow. And here in Choose app, search for Google Sheets. Just select it. After selecting Google Sheets, an action event from this drop down, we have to select the action event as Lookup Spreadsheet Row. And then just click on Connect. Select Add New Connection. Now here guys, we have to connect our Google Sheets account with Pavli Connect, the same Google Sheets account in which we have created this Google Sheet with all the product details. And to make this connection, just click on this sign in with Google button. After clicking on this, here you can see that we just have to select our Google Sheets account. And after selecting it, we will just scroll down and click on this continue button over here. After clicking on continue, here you can see that our Google Sheets account will get connected with Pavli Connect. Now after making this connection, the first thing it asks us is to select the spreadsheet. And here in this drop down, you can see a list of all the spreadsheets which we have in our Google Sheets account. Now here guys, we have to select the spreadsheet in which we are adding the details of new products. So this is the name of the spreadsheet that is new products. From this spreadsheet, we want to get the product details. So we will be selecting this spreadsheet over here. After selecting the spreadsheet, the next thing it asks us is to select the sheet. So in this Google spreadsheet, right now we have created only one sheet named as sheet one. That's why here in this drop down, you can see only one sheet as sheet one. But it is most likely possible that in your Google spreadsheet, you might have created multiple sheets over here. So here guys, in this drop down, you will get a list of all the sheets which you have created in your Google spreadsheet. And you have to select the sheet that the data or the details of product from which sheet we want to receive. Just select that sheet over here. Then here guys, it is asking us for the lookup column that in which column we want to search the data. So here guys, from this Google sheet, we want to only get the details of the product who has the status ready. So what we are going to do, we are going to search for the products who has the status ready in this column match. We are adding the status in column H. So column H is going to be our lookup column. We will search for some data for some value in column H. So here in lookup column, enter H over here, the name of the column in which you are adding the status. After lookup column, it is asking us for the lookup value that what is the value we are searching for? What is the data we are searching for? For we are searching for the product status as ready. Like all the rows which has status as ready of our products, we want to get the data of those rows over here only. Only for those rows. If we have the status anything else than ready or we have the status as blank in the Google Sheet, the details of that row, the details of that product won't be received inside Pavli Connect. And on, on that day, we won't be adding those products in our BigCommerce account. So the lookup value which we are searching for is ready. So here I have selected the status as ready, but instead of ready, you can basically enter any status of your choice according to your requirement. You just have to select the exact same lookup column where we are searching for data and you have to enter the correct lookup value as well, using which you want to get the details of the product, which we want to add in big commerce. After entering the lookup value, the next thing it asks us include headers in response that do we want to get these headers which we have added in our Google Sheet in response or not. So yes, we want to get the headers. That's why we have selected true. And here it is asking us for the sort value. So do you want to get the data from the top or do you want to get the data from the bottom? So we want to get the details of the product from top. Like here you can see we have right now four product as the status as ready. So we want to get the data, get the responses from top. So we have selected top over here. And one more important thing, guys, the help text over here below lookup value says enter value to be searched in the column. The response will return the hundred searched row only. So using this action, guys, you can only get the response, only get the details of hundred rows over here. So up to hundred rows, we can get the details of the product in one go using this action event one time over here. Now, after this, what we want to do, we just have to click on this simple response button. By default, it is turned on. We have to turn this simple response button to off. We have to switch it to the left side and then just click on save and send test request. 
After clicking on save and send test request, here you can see that we have received some response. And in this response with the label as response result, you can see all the rows, all the product details, which has the status as ready over here in our Google Sheet. The details of all of those rows, all of those products is now received inside Pabli Connect. And this data, this response is in array format. Here you can see the row index as two. So we have the first product which has the status as ready in row two. The name of the product is washing machine. So here you can see the same title washing machine over here and all the other details of that product which we have added in that row. We will scroll down and here you can see another row index as three. So in row index three, we also have the product which has the status ready over here. The next product which we have is in row number five, guitar as you can see over here. So we will scroll down to this response and here you can see the next response of this row number five. The product is guitar. And at last we have another product with the response which has the row index over here as eight. So in row number eight, we have the product as plus phone which has the status as ready. So this means using this action step, you can get the details of all the products which has the status as ready from our Google Sheet. And guys, here you can see that we have collectively received the data, the details of all the products in array format, in error response over here. So guys, the step two of setting up this automation is completed. We have successfully received the details of the product with the status as ready from our Google Sheet inside Public Connect. All the products which are ready to be added in our big commerce account, we have received the details of this product. But here guys, you will notice we have received this response. We have received the details of this product collectively in array format. We have the details of each and every product with ready status, but this is the single response and we have received this response into a array format, into some complex format. So what we are going to do, we are going to use another feature of Pabli Connect that is called iterator. And using iterator, we are going to iterate all of this data. We are going to iterate this complete response which we have received in array format. And using iterator, we are going to process this complete data, all of these products one by one. So how you, it works, let's see. We will just scroll down, click on this add action step button over here. And then here in choose app, select iterator. After selecting iterator by Pavli, in choose array, here you can see that by default, it has selected the response which we have received in array format. So the label of this response is response result and the iterator has automatically detected the response which was received in array format and selected this response over here. Now just click on this save and send test request button. And when we click on save and send test request, here you can see that we have received some response. And in this response, you will see the details of the first product which we have received over here. So the row index was two, the row value was the title was washing machine. So here guys, the first response in this array which we have received of the row number two, that is the product was washing machine. And here after using iterator in this response, you can see the details of the same product. The row index is two, the product is washing machine, the title is washing machine. Here you can see the same description, same type, same price, same SKU, and the same details of this product which we have added in our Google Sheet. So using iterator, we have converted this data from array format into a simpler format. And now using the same iterator guys, we will process all the row of data, each and every product details one by one. So here guys, this automation workflow after this iterator step will be processed again and again for each and every row of data. So we have received the details of the product from Google Sheet as well, which are ready to be added in BigCommerce. Now let's send these details of the product to BigCommerce and add these products in our BigCommerce account. For that, we will just scroll down and click on this add action step button over here. And then here in choose app, search for BigCommerce. Just select it. After selecting BigCommerce, an action event from this dropdown, select the action event as create product. Then just click on connect and select add new connection over here. Now here guys, we have to connect our BigCommerce account with Pabli Connect. And to make this connection, we have to enter the client ID access token and store hash key of our BigCommerce account. Now here you must be thinking how you can get all of these details from BigCommerce. So what you have to do, you just have to follow the help text given below over here. Just go to your BigCommerce account and from the left sidebar, just go to this settings section. After coming to the settings page, we will just scroll down and we will scroll down until we find this option of API. And under API, you can see this option of store level API account. 
just click on it. After selecting this, here you can see a list of all the API keys which we have created in our BigCommerce account. Just click on this create API account button and then give this account a name. For example, I'd like to name it as Pavli Connect. After naming our API account which we are creating, the next thing which we have to select is the auth scopes. So here in the help text, it is clearly mentioned that what are the scopes which we have to select. That's content, customers, information and settings, marketing, orders and products. We have to select all of these scopes over here in BigCommerce. So we have to select this modify option for these scopes like content, customers, information and settings, marketing, orders and products over here. And after selecting modified for all of these scopes, just click on save. Now when we click on save, here you can see that a file is downloaded with all the API credentials for our big commerce account. And you can see these credentials on your screen as well. Just copy this client ID from here, go to public connect and paste it over here. After this, let's copy this access token and paste it as well. At last, Pavli Connect is asking us for our store hash key. Now to get the store hash key, just go to your BigCommerce account and here in this URL section, after store dash and before dot my BigCommerce, just copy this store hash key from here, go to Pavli Connect and then just paste it over here and click on save. Now when we click on save, here you can see that our BigCommerce account will get connected with Pavli Connect. After making this connection, the first thing it asks us is the product name. That what is the name of the product which we want to create in BigCommerce. So we have received all the details of the product from our Google Sheet inside Pavli Connect. And using Iterator, we have converted the error response which we have received from Google Sheet into a simpler format. So from this Iterator responses, we have to map this response of product name. So the first product which we had in our Google Sheet was washing machine. And here you can see the responses of that product, of that row. So we have to basically map this response of product name from iterator responses to this field of product name. And guys, the process of mapping is very simple. Simply click on this field and here in this drop down, you can see the responses from previous three steps. Out of all of them, from the responses of iterator, we are going to select this response of the name of the product and it is going to get mapped over here. So whatever product name we are going to enter in our Google Sheet, by the same name, the product will be created in BigCommerce. After mapping the product name, it is asking us for the type. So here in this dropdown, we have two different types of products. Either it can be a physical product or it can be a digital product. So we have entered the product type in our Google Sheet as well. So here in this dropdown, we have given two options of physical or digital product. And we have received this response of product type inside Pavli Connect. And here in iterator responses, you can see this response. So if you want, you can also map this response of product type over here in this type field. Now here guys, to map this data, just turn the mapping button on in front of it and clear this default response. And after that, just click here and from iterator responses, map the response of product type and it will be mapped over here. Then it is asking us for the SKU. So we are going to use the same process of mapping once again. Just click here and from iterator responses, map the SKU of the product which we have received from Google Sheets. Then let's map the price as well. And in this way, we are going to map all the other details too. So after mapping the price, the next thing it asks us is the category. That in which category this product falls. And here in this dropdown, you can see a list of all the categories which we have created in our big commerce account. So I want to add the product which using this Google Sheet in the category of shop all. So I will be defining the category myself in BigCommerce. So I want all the products which I'm creating or adding in BigCommerce using this automation. All of those products should be fall under category of shop all. Then it is asking us for the weight. That what is the weight of this product? So we haven't added the weight of the product in our Google Sheet. And this field of weight of the product is also not mandatory, not required. So if you want, you can ignore this field for now. Then it is asking us for the description. So from the drop down, from iterator responses, map the description of the product as well. Then it is asking us order quantity minimum and order quantity maximum. That what is the minimum and maximum quantity of orders a user can place. So you can basically add these details for each and every product in your Google Sheet as well. Right now, I'll just keeping it default for one. The order quantity minimum is by default one and order quantity maximum is also by default one. So this field is also not mandatory, not required. So we are ignoring it. This means we will be entering the default values as one over here. Then it is asking us for the inventory level. So we have entered the inventory level as well in Google Sheet and we are going to map that response too. 
Then it is asking us inventory tracking. That do we want to track the inventory of this product in big commerce? So yes, we want to track the inventory of this product, not the variant. So we will be selecting product over here. So if you have different variants of the same product and you want to track the inventory of different variants, from this drop down, you can select the variant as well over here. Then it is asking us inventory warning level. So what will be the warning level in the inventory stock for this particular product? For example, I want the inventory warning level to be 10. Like whenever only 10 units are left for any product in my account, in my big commerce account, I want to get a warning. Then it is asking us image description and image URL at last. So we have entered the image URL of this product in our Google Sheet. So here, what we can do, we can just click here and from this drop down, from iterator responses, map the response of image URL. And if you want, you can add the description of this image as well. So you can add another column of image description and write the description over here. Now using this action guys, if you want, you can add multiple images of the same product as well. So what you have to do, you just have to enter the image links of the product by comma separate values. Like this is the first image link. You can add a comma and after comma, you can mention the second image link as well. In this way, you can add multiple image links, multiple images for the same product in big commerce using the same automation. So here guys, right now I'm just adding one image over here. Now after mapping all the details of the product, which we have received from Google sheet, just click on save and send test request. Now, when we click on save and send test request, here you can see that we have received the response. And this response seems to be a positive response to us. This response shows that the data which we have mapped over here, basically the details of the ready product, which we have received from Google Sheet, using these same details of this first product, the product has been created, the product has been added in our big commerce account. So let's check it. We will go to big commerce and go to this product section. And yes, guys, here you can see that the same product washing machine, the same first product which we have added in our Google Sheet, the same product washing machine has been added in our big commerce account. And here you can see the same details. You can see the same product name, same SKU, same price and the same product type too. Then we will scroll down further. Here you can see by default, it has selected the same category. We have the same product description which we have entered in our Google Sheet. And also you can see the same image whose link we have added in our Google Sheet. So in this way, you can see that using this automation, you can basically get the details of the product which you have marked the status as ready in our Google Sheet every day. And then those products will be added in our big commerce account as a new product. Now here guys, you can see that using this automation, we have basically added all the products which are status as ready in our Google Sheet. Now what we want to do, we want to update the status of these products in Google Sheet as well. Because using scheduler, we will be running this automation workflow at a regular interval or every day. Now we want that every day, the same product should not be added once again in our big commerce account. So we are going to add one last step in our automation workflow. And using this step, we will be actually updating the status of these products, which are added in our big commerce into our Google sheet. So we are going to update the status in this column edge, in this status column in our Google sheet. For that, just click on this add action step button. And then here in choose app, once again, we have to search for Google Sheets. So search for Google Sheets over here. Just select it. After selecting Google Sheets, an action event from this drop down, select the action event as update cell. Just scroll down and select update cell value as the action event. Then just click on connect. Now, because we have connected our Google Sheets account with Public Connect in the previous step, we don't have to make a new connection over here. You can select the existing connection and then just click on save. And after clicking on save, we will see once again, our Google Sheets account will get connected with Pavli Connect. After making this connection here in select spreadsheet and in select sheet, we have to select the same spreadsheet, same product spreadsheet and same sheet over here in which we want to update the status. After selecting the spreadsheet and sheet, it is asking us for the range. That what is the range of the cell in which we want to update this value? So here guys, we have to update the value in this range, in this column H2. So here you can see that we have successfully created this product H2 over here of washing machine. And we want to change the status of this product as published in our Google sheet. 
But here guys, every time we add a product from Google Sheet in BigCommerce, this range is going to change. So if we add wall watch, the cell which we have to update, the cell in which we have to update the status for this product is H3. Then here guys, for Gita, it is H5. And then here it is H8 for this product. So after adding every product, the column name stays the same, but the row number is going to keep on changing. So what we are going to do here in this range section, we are going to enter the column name in which we have to update this status. So the column name of status in my Google Sheet is column H. So I have updated the H over here, just enter H. And then here in after H, we have to enter the row number as well. So from Google Sheet guys, after getting these details here in iterator responses, you can see we have received the row index that what is the row number in which we have added these details, this data which we are processing. So from iterator responses, you can basically map this row index over here in this range section. Just click here and from the responses of iterator, just map the row index. After mapping the row index guys, here we have given the range that in which particular cell in our Google Sheet, we want to update the status. Then at last it is asking us for the value that what is the value, what is the text that we want to update in place of ready. So we want to update the text as for example, published. So this is the text I want to replace in place of ready over here in this Google Sheet, in the status column. Instead of this, you can basically add any other value over here. In this video, I just took an example of status as ready and published, but basically you can give any other status of your choice. So after entering the value and the range, just click on save and send test request. And after clicking on save and send test request, here you can see that we have received another response. And in this response, you can see that it is showing us that the value which we have added over here, this value has been updated in this cell. So let's check it. We will go to our Google Sheet. And yes, guys, the same product washing machine, which we have just now added in our big commerce account, the status of that same product is now updated to publish in our Google Sheet. So using this automation, whenever we are going to add a product from Google Sheet in our BigCommerce, after adding the product, we will be changing the status of that product in our Google Sheet. So that the next time when this automation workflow will run, the next time it, will, it won't be taking the data or the details of that product from our Google Sheet over here. And here guys, you can see that we have successfully created this automation. Now after creating this automation, let's understand this automation workflow once again in brief. So in this automation, we have selected scheduler as a trigger and we have selected the schedule time as every day. And the time is 10 AM over here. If you want, you can change the duration or enter any time interval of your choice. After scheduler, what we have done, we have received the details of the product, which are ready to add in our big commerce account from Google sheet. So in Google sheet, we are adding the status of the product and we want the product which has the status as ready. These products should be added in our big commerce account. So in the next step, using this Google sheets, lookup spreadsheet row action, we have received the details, but we have turned off the simple response and received this data in array format. After that, using iterator, one by one, we are going to process all the details, all the product which we have received from Google Sheet and add those product in our big commerce account. Also, what we are going to do, we are going to update the status of the product which we have added in our big commerce account into our Google Sheet so that we don't add the same product once again in our big commerce account, which was already added. So here guys, not just these applications, you can connect plenty of other applications with Pabli Connect. And guys, one more important thing. You will find the clone link of this exact same workflow in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can actually clone this same workflow into your own Pabli Connect account and use this automation workflow for free. Also, let me tell you, Pabli Connect offers you a free plan. And in this plan, you will get some free tasks every month into your own Pabli Connect account. So if you want to try and test this automation, you can do it for absolutely free. If you have any kind of doubts or queries, you can post them on forum.pabli.com. So if this video was helpful to you, you can obviously like this video, comment down to your suggestion, and don't forget to share it with others. So guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you. Have a great day.